and also closer to the inside running rail roly poly moly are the first ones to show and now crossing over from that wider gate charlie arthur will come right in front of the field and take the lead so after a furlong it's charlie arthur who's crossed to the running rail has the advantage from lucky's dream who races in second on the outside of roly poly moly just behind those is Marembo in the purple and yellow colours. On the running rail in white is Morkeb. Three wide as they approach the turn is Bobby Kennedy, just struggling for a little bit of cover at the moment, as keen amongst horses is Delphi Dreamer. And the back to Thunder Flash, who raced on the outside of Shibano, as the leader, Charlie Arthur, exits the back straight with an advantage of a length. So it's Charlie Arthur from Lucky's Dream in second. Roly Poly Moly disputes third place on the inside of Marembo. Next group is made up of Morkeb on the running rail, Delphi Dreamer in the centre and Bobby Kennedy three wide. And Shabano held up in company with Thunder Flash are the last two as they continue their progress and they'll now prepare to turn back towards home. Out in the lead is Charlie Arthur, still has the advantage by a length from Lucky's Dream who is in second place as they make the turn with five furlongs to travel. Racing in third is Marembo coming up the centre of the race course. Roly Poly Moly is still there with Bobby Kennedy, another up the centre with that white cap. Then Delphi Dreamer, Shabano being furiously ridden at the back as we have half a mile to travel. Charlie Arthur with Lucky's Dream and Marembo, the two closest pursuers. Roly Poly Moly being ridden. Bobby Kennedy and Delphi Dreamer are under pressure at this stage as they make their way inside the final three furlongs. Charlie Arthur with Lucky's Dream and Marembo, and these three have a two to three length advantage over roly poly moly as they make their way down to the two furlong pole charlie arthur still clinging to a narrow lead marembo and between the pair lucky's dream as they head down with a furlong and a half to go marembo on the left lucky's dream on the right they've now gone past charlie arthur as they make their way inside the final furlong marembo for olivia tub far side is lucky's dream for luke catton the two of them still are locked together could still go either way marembo on the near side lucky's dream the far side heads apart marembo and lucky's dream all the way to the Line. Marembo, I think, has just got there to deprive Lucky's Dream. Charlie Arthur in a race where few were involved. Back in fourth was Roly Poly Moly ahead of Morkeb. Yeah, it does look as though Marembo has got there for Olivia Tubb and Johnny Portman. It's officially a photo. Far side was Lucky's Dream, who I'm sure will be heading back with Liberated Lad, winner of the charity race to Ben Brookhouse's. But uh, I think it's come off second best there, Luke Cat. by delicacy in the light blue the right hand side love yours and dainty lady both show pace rogue rosie was keen to post to settle okay in the race so far and red and white just uh, just raising her head a little bit in fifth place uh, then towards the outside of those we have whiteley way in yellow and black glamorous joys recovered to midfield with queen of atlantis and bint havana gray towards the stand side the back markers at this early stage shalaski and also Woodhay wonder so making their way right up the center of the race course led still by crooked crown in red and yellow delicacy tracks that one with rogue rosie improving on the left on the right hand side love yours whiteley way in company with dainty lady still out in front crooked crown delicacy just looking for a bit of room to challenge with rogue rosie making good ground towards the uh, near side is Woodhay Wonder, who's come from an awful long way back with a surging run. And Woodhay Wonder from last to first leads Rogue Rosie. Behind these, Bint Havana Gray is also staying on. But Woodhay Wonder for Sean Levy and Tom Ward's gone two lengths clear here and ridden out towards the line. Woodhay Wonder, first success at the track for Tom. Blanket for second. Queen of Atlantis, Bint Havana Gray for second and third. Either way, judge will decide. Rogue Rosie was next. And behind these was Whiteley Way. Yeah, Woodhay won this one nicely, as Richard said. First success here for Tom Ward, first juvenile winner of the season. And she pinged clear to score. He looks as though it was Queen of Atlantis. Looks as though 
they're off and racing. Over the straight, seven furlongs. Pink and green colours, pink satin and red and yellow of Legal Beat, and it's Legal Beat who moves on early. So it's Legal Beat who has the lead from pink satin. Lady of Leisure in the sheepskin noseband just moving up for a share of second place and now going to take that position as they make their way almost in a straight line up the middle of the race course. Baletic is in fourth place early on and Shawari last of the fives. So the two debutants quite well back in the field early on as Legal Beat takes them through the first couple of furlongs. In second place is Lady of Leisure, then Pink Satin. Baletic showing signs of an experience, having just to be pushed along. Shawari doing it slightly more easily on her outside as they now make their way down with three and a half furlongs to race. Out in the lead is Legal Beat. In second place, Lady of Leisure. Just pushed along Pink Satin in third. Shawari continues to travel well at the back of the field on the outside of Baletic as the five runners make their way down now with two and a half furlongs to go. Legal Beat, Lady of Leisure challenging on the stand side. Far side, Pink Satin. Shawari continues to travel strongly through the race. Red with the white seams and is moving now into a threatening position as they make their way with a furlong and a half to go. Lady of Leisure and Pink Satin. Shawari now trying to get on terms as the three of them race with 150 yards to travel. Lady of Leisure with Shawari now showing down a challenge on the near side and it's Shawari who's moved through, travelled fluently throughout and will make a taking debut for Ollie Sankster, his first Newbury winner, and Tom Marcond. Shawari beat Lady of Leisure who leads. Millions Memories races in second place. It's in the yellow and blue as the lead is just a little bit keen on the front end. Still staying wide of the other runners as well. Splendent in the quartered cap and Vaynor in the white cap, the Fitri Hay pair, are just worse than midfield. Uh, then we have Noble Masquerade, Obsidian Knight and Greystoke. So still very keen Latin verse, has been anchored by the rider and is sharing the lead with Millions Memories now with between the pair Vaynor as they approach the turn. And still very fierce on the outside Latin verse. So Latin verse is going to cross in the lead, now joins the rest, but he's pretty fired up for Rob Hornby. In second place, Millions Memories. In third, in the orange and red sleeves is Greystoke, who is on the inner of the white striped nose of Vaynor. That's the Rowan horse in fourth. Obsidian Knight is in fifth place. Noble Masquerade in sixth. And Splendid's just taken a while to warm to the task. His last of the seven, still in touch, but was bumped along on leaving the stalls and momentarily as well when just before leaving the back straight. There's still a long way to go and quite a keen leader means they are rocking along as Latin Verse has a lead of nearly three lengths now. Millions Memories is in second place as they make their way towards the home turn. In third is Greystoke, who's a neck in advance of Vaynor, who now closes right up sides. In fifth place, Obsidian Knight, now Splendent begins to warm to the task, moves up on the outside of Noble Masquerade. A still Latin verse, rather careering along, spins wide off the final turn, takes the rest with him. His Latin verse, Millions Memories in second, Vaynor's made ground smoothly under Kieran Schumacher to sit in third. Then Greystoke, Obsidian Knight, Splendent, beginning to try and make some progress now and beginning to improve relatively rapidly. Splendent making ground into fifth place, changes course there, the momentum being kept up as Latin verse has come right over to the near side. Behind these, the Fitri Hay pair, Vaynor and Splendent are giving chase, but Latin verse under Rob Hornby, hard up against this near side rail, still has the lead. Obsidian Knight and Greystoke. Stoke as they make their way down with a furlong and a half to go. Latin verse now being headed as Splendent takes over. So Splendent moves to the lead. Obsidian Knight and Vaynor are the pursuers. But Splendent, the further he goes, he begins to draw two lengths clear now from Obsidian Knight in second place. Back in third is Vaynor. Splendent took a while to roll, but at the end is coming away. Splendent. Mohamed Tabdi and Paul and Oliver Cole beats in a second Obsidian Knight. A third, possibly just Latin verse. Noble Masquerade made it tight with Vaynor. A three-way go, then Greystoke and ease right down. Millions memories. Splendent wins that pretty comfortably in the end. In the first colours of Mrs. Fitri Hay. They came right over towards the stand side. They don't often do that here on the on the round course. But our um, first couple of races on the, the straight course, it seems... in the beige jacket in company with a Jadge. They are the front three just ahead of Chindwin. Settling just behind the leaders, Dream of Mischief is quite keen. Racing on the inside of Saturnalia and Big R. Then Jimmy Lifestyle held up is Aurora Dawn. And also held up is Puffable in company with the Toff. 
So staying up the centre of the race course and the Jaj and the Claret Cap and Overnight Oats on the left-hand side of the front two. Couple of keen, Saturnalia and Dream of Mischief are both racing fiercely just behind the leaders. Then Big R away to the right-hand side with Chindwin, Jimmy Lifestyle in the red and white. Aurora Dawn ridden patiently is last of all with the Toff alongside being pushed along as Puffable just moves through to a share of the midfield positions. But they're pretty tightly clustered. Adaj, Overnight Oats, Saturnalia and Dream of Mischief are the front four with Big R away to the right-hand side. Then Puffable, Aurora Dawn is now being asked for the effort with Jimmy Lifestyle who switched then Chinwin and the Toff making their way with a furlong and a half to go. Still right across the course here. Overnight Oats, Dream of Mischief, Saturnalia, Big R to the outside side Aurora Dawn, a Jadge has never been far away, then Saturnalia, Aurora Dawn on the extreme right has made steady progress to press a Jadge, Big R between the pair, then Overnight Oats and it's Aurora Dawn who's swept by the field and will win going away. Aurora Dawn beat a Jadge, Overnight Oats, Big R with Puffable running on late to grab fifth place. This race as they jump away. Out to the right, Secret Strength didn't break too swiftly amongst those that show speed. Away to the right-hand side, King of the Dance in the white colours and Knight Arc in yellow and black are one of the first two to show. Unsung Hero with a white spot on the forehead is another who are racing well to the fore in company with Starlight Nation in the pale blue. Meanwhile, up the centre of the race course, the uh, five that are led there are done so by King of the Dance, who is just ahead of Bastogna racing in second place. In third, in the silver colours, is Al Sim, and completing that group over on the far side, we have uh, Capote's Dream and Lunar Space. The six up the centre of the race course, Night Arc has a coming together with the main group now, with Wadi Barney tracking that horse, virtually eclipsed with the white face, then Unsung Hero. Starlight Nation comes next ahead of Plumette as they make their way down towards the final three furlongs and uh, pushed along behind these is Secret Strength and Lunar Space who was very keen on the way down is struggling in the race itself. Two furlongs to travel. Right hand side King of the Dance with Al Motasim and Bastogna. Wadi Barney looking to squeeze through with Night Arc. Capote's Dream is still there and then Plumet. Group on the far side have the advantage but Secret Strength on the near side is making taking progress. Inside the final furlong Night Arc strikes the front. Secret Strength head to one side. Wadi Barney is in the centre of the race course. Right over on the far side is Al Motasim. Secret Strength coming with a strong run close home. Secret Strength last away first back. Beat Night Arc. King of the Dance may have just grabbed third from Al Motasim. Unsung Hero is in there. Wadi Barney, Plumet and Capote's Dream. Come together. Kata leads up the centre of the race course in white and black with Hurt You Never in the noseband. De Bruyne in midfield in the light blue colours just ahead of Jack's Edge and the back two in that near side group are Ignac Lamar and the Prince's Poet. So Prince of Belia has the overall lead from Catter in second place, Hurt You Never in the red with the noseband. Papa Bella due date, then De Bruyne and Jack's Edge make up the midfield group with Ignac Lamar gradually mating closer towards the left hand side. Prince's Poet trying to pick a way through as well as they make their way down with just over two furlongs to go. Prince of Belia with Hurt You Never on the near side coming to deliver a challenge. Due date Papa Bella, the Prince's Poet looking for a gap, Jack's Edge, and also trying to stay on is De Bruyne, as they wait their way inside the last, it's Hurt You Never who has the advantage, from in second place, over on the far side Rich Rhythm trying to get involved, Hurt You Never with Rich Rhythm, continuing to stay on stoutly Hurt You Never on the near side, Rich Rhythm Hurt You Never, may have just held on from Rich Rhythm, with De Bruyne right behind them in third, Jack's Edge, Sarah's verse were next, in company with Prince of Belier. good finish to the last